This guy said that they banned his account. He says they banned my account back in February of 23 or back of back in February 23, I'm assuming 2024 cuz this was released or Raid released their game. They ported their game over to Steam on in January, I think. And he says they banned my account. My account which I loaded money into was banned for no reason. And I don't know where to apply. I wonder if that was during that huge ban wave that was going around. I never got to the bottom of that. I never really understood why that happened. But it seemed to just kind of happen. And then nothing else happened after that. But here we are, guys. Steam. If you didn't know, Raid is now on Steam. If you're a Steam fellow, uh, if you play games on Steam, if you buy your games from Steam, I do too. Mixed reviews. Oh, yeah. So it released January 9th. So Polarium did that here. And they're advertising the game here, so if anybody wants to play from Steam instead of from Polarium Play, they totally could do that. I've never tried it. I might try it one day. This is how they advertise Leorius. And I wanted to go ahead and review, or not review, but like talk about the reviews that I see here, react to it. I feel like it could be fun, interesting, insightful. This is what I do now. Uh, part of my regular content. What the hell? Oh. Just loud music just came out of nowhere. And I was like, what the heck is that? So, yeah. Uh, we'll see what the reviews say. And we can react to it together. Because I always like to go back and forth in the comments with you guys. It's always fun to connect with you. Ecker Chevale says, pros, lots of sand. Cons, worms in sand. Overall, Fremen. What? What does that even mean? Did he even play the game? Good. Okay, Pavel. A actually, hold on. Look at this. Two reviews, one product and account. No profile picture. One review, one product. These seem like bots. I don't know. It's kind of weird. This guy, very addicting and grind worthy, very addicting and grand or grind worthy. I can't even speak grind worthy. Yeah, that seems pretty honest. It is a, it's a very addicting game. Raid is a very addicting game, and it, it encourages you strongly encourages you to grind. Hell yes. Oh, we got our first bad review here. Everything is, or a second one. Everything is artificially scarce. There are tons of upgrade paths, all with their own coins or tokens, of course, available to purchase. Constant pop-ups trying to sell and upsell, an interface that makes it painfully obvious that this is a quick mobile to desktop conversion, including text that makes no sense on a desktop computer. It's telling that the one thing... It's telling that... The oh! It's telling that the one thing that would make this an action RPG, the combat, can be automated entirely. If you like management games that constantly try to sell you stuff, then maybe this is for you. Well, he's not wrong. Combat is decently strategic. That's, you know, that's fair. But there are too many obnoxious nag screens trying to get you to spend money. That's true. Worse, I originally tried this on mobile, and for some reason they made it very... Very easy to accidentally make it nigh impossible to ever link your Steam copy to the game. Oh, your Steam copy of the game to your mobile account. I can also see how it will get more and more grindy and RNG dependent, both of which will turn into practically uh, the demand for the use of real money uh, to overcome. This is true. No secret. We've talked about this before. This is what happened to me when I reached level 35 in Raid. I started out free to play, hit level 35, and was like, you know what? I hit a wall. Time to spend some money. I didn't stop for a long time. Lowest form of entertainment. I'm sad I tried it. Well, at least you gave it 40 minutes of your life. And I'd say she's ahead. Annie, you're ahead of a lot of people. Why don't I re why don't recommend uh recommend? The way he spelled recommend. I accidentally said it recommend. Why I don't recommend this game is the mercy system. When you smash crystal, green, blue, red, purple, yellow, to get epic, you need 20 blue to get... Yeah, so he's talking about the mercy system. This gotcha game needs some easier updates to get characters. 
okay when we are talking about graphic yeah is number one but that not make the game good you need good storyline if you like this game you need a couple of years to finish all quests good luck I, I, he's got over 300 hours on it but i understand kind of what he's saying he says bad game let's read this one most helpful reviews let's avoid this section okay so first things first this is a port right this is a port from mobile duh after all, who hasn't? <laughs> After all, who hasn't heard about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends? That being said, it's one of the f um, it's one of those rare few mobile ports that was ported fairly well. I, I say so. Look, I mean, it's doing pretty well on on PC, right? But is it still cash grabby? Oh, absolutely, duh. However, the real money purchases don't help nearly as much as you think, except maybe the $50 and $60 dollars and up. And he, that's not entirely true. Because the monthly gems, the forge pass, the monthly gems is like 10 bucks. The forge pass is like 20, 25 bucks or something like that. Those are worth it. Quote unquote worth it if you're talking about value. Um, there's the $2 packs, the one with like the one agent shards. And it's even better if you buy it with the plus 100% deals that they have, or like they double up and they sell those to you. Those are really nice. The Warrior Circle packs are pretty good. Um, and the monthly packs, if you're a spender, depending on what tier you're in, you know, 30 bucks for a Sacred, you know, a couple Ancients, not really a great thing, but the Voids. So, and then you get a, a thousand energy and some gems on top of it. So, you know, I, I think those are worth it. That's what I used to buy on a regular basis. So I don't necessarily think that, you know, buying the $50, $60 void packs and up are the only things, that's, only things that are going to help you. And even then, you are still perfectly capable of getting what the Wallet Warriors have. Wallet Warriors. I have not heard that. Wallet Warriors. I've always heard Krakens, Whales, Cthulhus. It'll take you a while longer. But if you, simp if you simply must blow your real cash on this game's microtransactions, Raid has you covered. In fact, Raid reminds you every 5 to 10 minutes that you can make a purchase. You don't have to, but the people behind Raid aren't breaking any laws by constantly advertising to you, and they know that if you play long enough, you're eventually going to cave. That's true. Even just the $5 purchase in their system of harassment has worked. This is also true. This is also like, if you ever go to YouTube, YouTube algorithm is going to constantly push the same videos to you based on uh what you what you like oh, okay hold on let me let me let me let me back this up because of everything that just popped up I, I i promise you like i don't watch this section over here like i do but my oh my god let me let me explain my youtube channel is a premium that's connected to my computer uh, not that's connected to my my tv my wife likes to watch tv without ads so we kind of share this account so if you're wondering why there's like you, you see some stuff here that's like very girly that's the reason that's my excuse but yeah if you ever look at a video and you see oh there's a video here that keeps popping up right but you don't actually click on it oftentimes what happens with me especially if it's a bit it's a, it, like this this one right here this mom can we keep this little stray dog I've been dodging this video for quite some time and this video keeps popping up back to me. Now that I've seen it so many times, this advertisement for this video has played so many times. Like I just, I want to watch it now. I don't know why. Maybe it's just for the video that I'm doing right now. Or maybe, you know, there's, 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 there's something to it. I can't really explain it because I don't understand it well enough, but there is truth to this. The same reason why you, um, actually, I'm not going to get into that, but if uh, blah, 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 you don't have to advertise you, they know that you play long enough cave, a very predatory, a oh, very predatory marketing system, not their first system of its kind, but nonetheless, a fine, uh, nonetheless, a fine example of such making this review after about 200 hours to give this game a fair chance. Never once spent a dime. Do I recommend anyone start playing this? No. The only reason I'm going to keep playing it myself <laughs> Is because I have a little else better, better to do with my use. What? The only reason I'm going to keep playing it myself is because I have little else better to do with my useless life. 
that's a lot to unpack there, bro. And if we're talking about unpacking, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. So if you install it here first and then try to link your, link your actual account to it, you can't. And you are forever stuck with the new account it automatically made. Good game. Rather use Polarium Play and Bluestacks for multiboxing. This shit sucks. Yeah? I definitely won't be downloading it off Steam. No way in hell am I giving this garbage mobile game a thumbs up. There are tons of better mobile games out there in the wild. This game supposedly is equal to a PC game according to the dev of this weirdo game. 0 out of 10. Would recommend. Just another generic cash grab. Blah blah blah. Pay to win. Also linking your game account to Steam is totally broken. Oh here. A positive review. Apparently 261 hours from nobody with a profile pic. The concept is great. The cost to play is outrageous. I take it back. This seems pretty honest. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. My friend who I play CSGO with said if I post a review on Raid and it gets 50 likes and 30 awards, that he will buy me a 3060 and one kilo of lemon. So I'm just going to leave this here. Help a brother. 50 likes, 30 awards. Okay. Can we, of all time, let's look at the negative ones only. Actually, no. Let, let's see. Let's let's see what. Let's look at some positive ones. Oh, here this one right here. Recommended. This guy's got seven hundred and fifty-one hours on record so far, with fifteen thousand hours outside of Steam. Okay, so this guy's a a big one. This is one of those games I wish I could give a mixed recommendation. It's a pay-to-win game that has heavily predatory and targeted MTX marketing tactics. You ab you absolutely can play without spending, but prepare for a long grind. You also have to meticulously plan events in order to reach the top prizes without spending. You do get a good several hundred energy when completing daily quests, events, and tournaments, but outside of that, you gain one energy every three minutes Five hours to completely fill a single dungeon can take 40 energy when you can do them in seven seconds. Five hours of waiting for 21 seconds. I wouldn't say 21 seconds, maybe a little more than 21 seconds. I'd say 25. There is a decent amount of things to work towards, unlock, and it's certainly fun. This is my fifth account. Okay, so this is a real one. This is a real guy here. I know because he said fifth account. I still come back enjoying it. I do recommend this game if you have the time and are prepared to put in the effort, but don't expect to win any tournaments as you're always grouped with spenders. Yeah. That's pretty honest. Uh, lots of sand. Polarium, they banned my account, which has 223... I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he says 20, he's trying to say 23 mil player power. Good, no login option or delete account option. That's not true. There is a delete option account. Make sure you connect your mobile through there, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, if you don't know, you can actually delete your, uh, delete your account. Go into the settings on the top right. Just click your icon. Just click your icon. All right, let's go back to the negative ones. Let me try to find a really good one. One that looks good. All right, pros. Idle RPG addict, uh, with addictive battles and tactics. Good graphics. Cons, completely pay to win. Customer service is awful. E uh, I'm mixed on this one. I've had some automated... If you try to talk in-game to the support, you get an automated response, and oftentimes that doesn't end up anywhere. But if you hit people up in Discord, or you go to post on like the Polarium Play um, website, hell, even if you go to the YouTube channel of Raid Shadow Legends, they reply there. So... I'd say customer service is sort of a hit and a miss depending on the person, but I mean, I've emailed Polarium play and, or I've, sorry, I haven't done it. I've had people tell me and show me screenshots of them emailing Polarium play support or just Polarium support and they get help. Stingy with the rewards. Older characters look like heart, 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 no rework for their looks. That's true. RNG is everywhere. Play some other, idle rpgs if you want to pass time this guy responded raid has to be the worst game i ever wasted significant time to all right 
Let's see. Let's do two more. Uh, what's this? Oh my god. This is kind of funny though. All right. Be warned, your Polarium account is not linkable through Steam. Starting up on Steam will begin a new account. Raid is not Raid is a not even veiled gambling simulator. Prices are exorbitant given the resources players get for their real money. Every instance of PVP, that's true, is pay to win. And the players who pay often pay tens of thousands of US dollars. I forgot where I saw it, but someone was Oh no, it was an Ash's video. Ash came out with a with a video recently talking about or showcasing somebody with a $1 million raid account. And somebody in the comments in that video was like, "Oh, I went to Reddit and I was telling people that I've spent over $600,000 in raid." And he said that nobody believed him. He said that nobody would believe that anybody would spend that much money in a mobile game. Me, knowing and seeing what I've seen, I know for a fucking fact there are people who've spent 600k. I know for a fucking fact there are people who've spent a million, maybe even more, probably. And um, he was like, this just confirms what I'm saying to people in Reddit, that there are a lot of people who spend a lot of money in Raid. Yeah, exactly. In addition to all that, Raid is a complex, interesting, and enjoyable game. This is true. I haven't seen anybody talk about the community, because the community in Raid is probably one of the hallmarks as to why Raid is, Raid is as successful as it is. A complete hallmark is the community. See, Raid is Pokemon, but with better animations, way cooler character design, and much fairer battles. How is it Pokemon? You collect fighters, level them up, evolve the, I mean, ascend them, evolve them again, I mean, awaken them. There's legendaries. The dungeons are just gyms with a boss at the end. Encounter and endure various status effects. Who goes first really matters. How is it not Pokemon, but way better? The game really clicked for me when I saw a YouTuber use a champ in a way I'd never thought to consider. This champ nuked 40% of a, of a boss's health bar in one shot. I was like, I have that one. Can I do it too? That's when I started actually taking the game seriously, understanding the mechanics, building the heroes intentionally, and with a specific focus in mind for each. This is true. If you're new to the channel or if you're just a new player, listen to this right here. I'll say it again. I'm going to get closer to the mic. This is important. If you want to take the game seriously, understand the mechanics. Understand that you need to build heroes intentionally and with a very specific focus in mind for each champion. Okay? So when you guys ask in Reddit or wherever, who to 60 next? Or you ask, you know, uh, how should I build this champion? You really have to look at the grand scope of your own account. It's very hard for anybody to tell you what you need to do because we're not all inside of your account unless you just give us a full breakdown of like everything that you can and can't do with your entire roster. But I mean, you're asking somebody to basically put in some work for you. Every time you ask that kind of question, you're asking somebody to give you, I don't know, like 10 minutes of their time to really sit down and look and think and then type up a response. And then that's not... That's if you don't have any more questions after that. You know what I mean? So definitely save yourself some time, save other people some time, and just learn the game. Uh, spending and saving resources better. Progress is made, if not little by little, but in short leaps and bounds, usually every two weeks. Is the game pay to win? Yes. Yes, it is. Anyone who spends 10 grand on raid will outperform a free-to-play pa uh, player. This is true. I'll run up, and you know how I know this is true? I gave away an account. It was a free-to-play account, level 100. And I compared it to my main account that I have that I spent thousands of dollars on. I significantly outclassed my free-to-play account, both level 100 
And I could do things on my main account, like one key, all the Hydra heads, or like do hard 10 dungeons and like, you know, do the Iron Twins, etc. Place plat. I couldn't do any of that on my free to play level 100 account that I've put the same amount of time into, basically. Because I started that account uh, maybe like uh, a couple weeks after my first one. And I played them both relatively equally. The only difference is I, my main one I've spent money on. You, you see what I mean? Um, I'll run up against teams at my account level that clearly didn't simply put god luck, godlike luck, for, didn't pull, didn't simply pull godlike luck from their shards. And yet, knowing this is half the fun, I can still beat a handful of these guys in arena. They set up their team with twice my power level. Power level hardly means anything. But I have the speed to go first and strategically knock down the enemy team in the right order. So, yes, it is a go first thing. Like, the speed meta is just as it is the meta in raid. And, yes, there is a strategic order to which you want to uh, knock down enemies in the right order. Yeah. There is nothing more exhilarating than a free-to-play challenge... Oh, than a free-to-play challenging a whale in live arena and coming home with a w anyway winston churchill churchill probably there is no punishment for losing in pvp some rank points is the closet is the clo closest i can't read anymore i'm like so tired of, of uh reading closest thing one can drop and they're easily regainable raid showers players regularly with surprise apology packs for being down to do uh down due to to maintenance free login legendary champs and always something going on in events and tournaments to conclude i wouldn't go out of my way to tell someone they should pick up raid rather if anyone asks me about it because they're seriously considering it i will say yes don't spend a dime guard your time well raid is simply not okay raid is not simply a meme it's a fascinating game underneath yeah and this is coming from somebody who was obviously passionate about the game I can totally agree with everything that he said here. 